Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to the video for 2.4 bond halo cycle. In this video, we're going to look at um, at C construct bond halo cycle for simple ionic solid using energy cycle diagram, and D calculate the entropy changes using bond halo cycle. So on your notes will be on page ten. Okay. So what is actually a bond halo cycle? It is a cycle of reaction used to calculate the lattice energy of ionic crystalline solid, so ionic solid ether. And von Haber cycle summarizes the relationship between the various entropy changes involved in the formation of an ionic crystal. Okay, so what, what are actually the enthalpy, the various entropy involved? Um, so here is the acronym FAIL. Uh, you can feel it. Like, <laughs> so what does it mean here? So let's look. Please add in your notes. F stands for formation. A stands for atomization, I stands for ionization energy, E stands for electron affinity, and L is lattice energy. So here I have uh, written down as well uh, what is the equation. So for the formation, it's that when one mole of product is formed from the stable element, atomization is that uh, one mole of atom is formed from the stable element. Ionization energy is where the atom donate electron. So when it donate electron, it will form a cation. But it must be one mole. Electron affinity is when one mole of gases atom accept an electron. So it will form one mole of our anion. And last but not least is the lattice energy, where one mole of solid is formed. But then uh, it is formed from our gases ion. Okay, so we will combine this equation into one bond Haber cycle. Okay, so for example here, what I have is my uh, NaCl. So as you can see, the first equation is formation. The second one is atomization. The third one, ionization energy, my I. Here, atomization of chlorine block. Next, electron affinity of chlorine. And last but not least is the lattice energy, which is the unknown. Okay, so how are we going to calculate it? It is actually F is equal to the rest of our enthalpy. So here F is equal to uh, L, A I E L. Okay, so how we're going to do the uh, energy, uh, the bond Haber cycle? There are two ways uh, one energy cycle method, one is energy level. Okay, usually we can, uh, usually it is easier for us to use the energy cycle, but then again, I will teach you energy level method because some of the question. For the energy level method, sometimes uh, it gives you an equation. For example, from here to here, uh, they ask you what is the enthalpy involved. Okay, so let's look for the energy cycle method. Okay, when we, uh, for the energy cycle method, we will start with our formation. Okay, our heading will be formation. Okay, and then from the formation, okay, so that is why it is the first enthalpy. Next is atomization. So, atomization is one mole of gases form of atom. So, from Na solid, we become Na gas. From our Cl2, we become Cl. But remember, one mole of atom. And then, we, make, we want to make it balanced. So, here it's half. Next, ionization energy from our Na, we become Na+. Plus. Okay, do we need to write down the electron? There's no need. The same for uh, chlorine. Electron affinity, a sub-electron. But then, we don't have to show plus electron here. Uh, just show that there is Cl minus. And last but not least, it's actually these two, uh, when it combine, it will form our lattice energy. Hence, we will get our energy cycle method. Okay, but then for the energy level method, okay, I'm just, I, I will show it to you how to do it. It's just that for the energy level, here it mentioned the positive values of enthalpies denoted as going upward. Okay, so for example, our formation, formation here is negative 411. So that's why this arrow is uh, is showing downward. Okay, it's going downward lah. But for the atomization, for example, here is atomization sodium, atomization chlorine. It's a positive value, hence the arrow will be upward. And then for the energy level method, um, actually for the line here, uh, it um it must be for example here is four hundred can four hundred so for this arrow here it must be smaller than this arrow uh, just to show it to you because the value is smaller so our arrow point must be represented as well as the values itself lah uh, the punya ratio to 
Okay, so without further ado, let's look for our example straight away. So example one on page oh, page eleven. So here they ask you to construct the von Haber cycle and determine the lattice energy. So here L is our unknown. So from this equation, uh, this is all my F A I E. Okay, even though here it has shown to you F A I E E. Uh, atomization and activation energy but first let's just uh, write it down again okay why is this is formation because re uh, remember formation one mole of product form from our stable element so here is my stable element and here is one mole of ionic solid so here is my formation okay next is my from one mole uh, of sodium solid to one mole of sodium gas Remember, atomization, one mole of atom gas is formed. So here is my atomization, but that is for sodium. Next, it's actually from my sodium gas. Okay, it would uh, donate one electron. So it forms cation. So here uh, is my ionization energy. Okay, why is half Br2? is my stable element because Br2 okay, form one mole of bromine. So bromine here. 1 mole of gases atom. Again, here is my atomization of bromine. And last but not least is my bromine gas to accept an electron to form our uh, Br minus gas. So here is my electron affinity because once it accepts, it becomes an N ion. So the equation that is not given to you is your lattice energy. And you have to determine the lattice energy itself. Okay, so first and foremost, what I would like to do is actually my energy cycle method first. Okay, so first what we're going to do is actually we have to start with our enthalpy of formation. So for the equation, you have to write down all of it as well as your enthalpy value. So here you have to write down your enthalpy HF which is equal to the value as well as the unit. Okay, so that's the first one. So we have done this part and then uh, F we have done it. Next, what we're going to do is actually atomization. So atomization, you have two. One is actually atomization of sodium. Another one is atomization of uh, bromine. So for the sodium one, so here, how uh, will be the arrow? Since this is energy cycle method, yeah? energy cycle method and Okay. <laughs> so here from my sodium solid, I will uh, get my sodium gas. And then for my bromine gas, uh, my half Br2, it's not only for this one, my half Br2 gas is equal to Br gas. So I'm just going to write down for both of this uh, enthalpy of atomization. So now we have done our atomization. Okay, so I'm just going to take it here. Done, done. Okay, Fa. Next is ionization energy. Okay, ionization energy is actually from my Na gas to Na plus gas. So from my equation here, I do have my Na gas. So here I'm just going to add. Um, I'm just going to show you it will form an A plus gas. Okay, so how about the electron? We don't have to write it again. We just write down um, my product only. Okay, so we have write down my ionization energy. Then ionization energy. Uh, next one is my electron affinity. For my electron affinity is from my bromine gas will become Br minus gas. Again, we don't have to write down the electron. Okay, then for my bromine, uh, for my electron affinity of Bromine. So I have that for F A I E. So again, um, the last one is actually for the bond Haber cycle. It's for my lattice energy. Your my unknown here. Yeah, determine the lattice energy. So lattice energy is actually when um one mole of product is formed from its uh, gases ion. So here is my gases ion, and here is my um ionic solid. So what should we do? So we're just gonna write down. This is my as my arrow. And then, oh, don't forget, it's actually when we add up these both ions. So here I'm just going to add plus and, the, uh, and label it as Le. My latest energy is my unknown. Okay, so this is my von Haber cycle. So this one is quite straightforward because the equation is given to you. Okay, um, you, if the question does not give it to you F, A, I, E or something, you have to determine which one is which. Then you can start your... Uh, bond Haber cycle. Okay, usually for your bond Haber cycle, the product and the reactant and the first one, my metal solid, my metal will be solid. 
Uh, the rest of it will be my guess. Okay. But then certain question, ada, nanti we will le- uh, look at it. Ada yang bromine liquid. Uh, it depends on the question. But usually, our product here and our metal here will be solid. The rest of it uh, will be my guess. Okay, and then don't forget, you also have to label as well what is your uh, enthalpy and then the value as well as the unit. Okay, so how do we calculate my lattice energy? Okay, remember, is that, okay, this value, when we add up all this value, we will get this enthalpy of formation. So here, I'm just going to write down the formula. Okay, so this is the formula where formation will be equal to all of this. So once we have written down here, we will substitute each of the value. Remember the atomization. We have two atomization. We have atomization of sodium as well as atomization of my bromine. So once I substitute all the values, you will get the lattice energy to be negative 777 kilojoule per mole. Okay. So that is the question for number one. Okay. So that is for the energy cycle method. Okay. Next method that we're going to look at is for energy level. So only for this example, I'm going to show you the energy level method. Okay. The rest of the question you can do um. Uh, by which method that you are comfortable with but I believe mostly comfortable with the energy cycle method itself okay so for the energy level method and we look back in our notes here okay so we have here our axis y axis as my energy and here they, it does mention the positive value are denoted as going upward that's why we have our arrow upward and negative value denoted as going downward Okay, so what should we do for our um, energy level? Again, the same as our energy level, energy cycle, we will start with my um, F, my formation. But before that, we're going to draw the arrow here to show the energy. Okay, so now I have drawn the energy. Okay, again, what should we start? We will start with our formation. So when we look based upon our information, okay, the bond have cycle here. Okay, I'm just going to denote it based upon our energy cycle ni lah, eh? Okay, so from here, it started with my formation. Here is my formation and the value is negative 411 kilojoule per mole. Okay, show us. So where should we start? Okay, I'm going to start my um my level by uh, starting with my uh, stable element here. Okay, so from here, we know we will form an ABR solid which is a negative value. So what should we do is actually we're going to show an arrow. Uh, we will show an arrow downwards and then we will have to write down my Na. We are solid. So this is my first arrow. So this is my formation. Okay, next step is the atomization. But we know that we do have two atomization. We have my sodium and bromine. So uh, for this one, we have to do one by one. First step is actually atomization of Sodium, next is atomization of bromine. But then again, remember one by one because we have to show for each arrow what is the atomization or what is the enthalpy used. Okay, so um, from here, since the value is positive, I'm just going to write down. Uh, I'm just going to draw the arrow to be upwards. So this is the reaction. Even though I will, um, this uh, arrow only shows the, apa ni, the changes in our sodium from the solid to gas, still we have to write down um, the bromine as well. So even though it does not change anything, we have to write down all of it. Okay, so first is the atomization of my sodium. Next, we will do the atomization of bromine. So here is the atomization of bromine. It's 1 to 2 kilojoule per mole. Okay, remember, uh, you have to do the step one by one. Okay, first from here, we have to do an A gas. Next step, we have to do the bromine gas. Okay, so even though only one process is involved, in this case, from this one to the second one here, uh, only the sodium change. And then from this arrow, from this level to this level, only the bromine change. You have to write down all of it uh, for the case of our sodium and our bromine. Okay, so this is the atomization done. Okay, next is ionization energy. So for the ionization energy, we look here from Na gas to become Na plus gas. So here we have to write down Na plus gas. But don't forget, uh, we do have our bromine gas here. So we have to write it down again. 
And since the value is positive 500, so again the arrow will be uh, upwards. So here is my ionization energy. Okay, next one is my electron affinity. So for the electron affinity is from my bromine gas become Br minus gas. So again, for these changes, we have to show uh, this. The next equation will be Na plus gas plus Br minus gas. Okay. Um, and then, okay, for this case, here is a negative value. So, we can't do upward lagi. Mana boleh upward dah? Because the negative value, so we have to show it downwards. Okay, so this is my activation and uh, my electron affinity. Okay, so remember since this is negative, so we have to show the arrow downwards. So, F-A-I-E. Okay, last but not least is the lattice energy. Okay, but again, lattice energy is not given uh, from the equation here. So, what should we do? Okay, remember, lattice energy is one mole of solid is formed from the gases ion. So, how about the arrow? Okay, maknanya, from my sodium plus bromine, I can form my NABR solid. Okay, this will be my arrow. Okay, kalau lah arrow ni macam ni, uh, nanti this is actually lattice dissociation kan? Sebab from my solid here, it will dissociate to become my ion gas, gases ion. But for the lattice energy, is one mole of ionic solid formed from the gases ion. So here the arrow will be downward. Again, when you put lattice energy, the definition is the heat release. Okay, when, when one mole of compound is formed, one mole of solid ionic compound is formed. So it means that it will be a negative value. So, kita buat lah. So this is my lattice energy which is equal to unknown. Okay, again, for the um, uh, energy level method, uh, dia macam leceh, terlalu renyah sikit. Sebab satu is that, uh, for each of the step here, for each of the level, level uh, you have to write down for both. For my sodium and for my bromine as well. Uh, so, make sure lah, even though, contohnya dalam case ni, my sodium is changing, my bromine does not change, we still have to write it again. Okay, and then for the energy level method, you have to use the ratio. Contohnya, here is negative uh, 400 kan. Uh, sini 100. Uh, the level cannot be the same lah. Uh, contohnya, 100 ni kena guna, uh, kena lagi rendah. Kena lebih, uh, must be smaller than my 400. So, tu dia macam leci sikit. Okay. But then, how to calculate it? Uh, it's still the same one. Where this one, we're still gonna use this. Okay, so that's why um, untuk uh, kami sendiri, uh, me myself, I'm more comfortable with my with the energy cycle method. This is for the energy level method. Uh, for example, at a certain soalan, uh, it shows uh, this direction. So they ask you, what is the enthalpy? You just have to make sure what is the difference. Okay, so for the example number two here, I believe you could try yourself. Okay, the difference is, is that um, the equation is not given to you. Okay, so you have to write down the equation. This uh, sama sahaja dengan ni. Okay, remember, Enthalpy of sublimation is the same as enthalpy of atomization. Okay, so um, that's it for this video.